What's up guys, it's Kaden, and I am now one month post-op top surgery. In this video, I'm going to be talking about um, my pain and school and um, the two appointments that I went to since I've last talked to you guys about my surgery. So if that's something that you're interested in, then definitely stay tuned and keep watching. No things get hard, but girl, you got it, girl, you got it, there you go. Can't you tell by how they looking at you everywhere you go? So as you guys saw in my last top surgery video, I got my dreams out and I got my stitches out. Um, I already told you guys about how, um, the stitches hurt more than the drains, and even then, the stitches barely even hurt. But I know a lot of people are always scared of drains, and I just realized my ring light isn't on. Hold on a second. Okay, sorry about that. <laughs> um, so I know a lot of people are worried about their drains coming out because a lot of people say it hurts. Um, for me personally, it didn't hurt. I was terrified. I was shaking. Um, it didn't hurt though. I didn't even feel it. But more about that is in my drain removal video. Um, so at that appointment, I got my drains out. I got my stitches out. I went home and it was like a huge fucking relief of having the drains out because they were so uncomfortable. They hurt like while they were in. They just, mm -mm. no, <laughs> that was, no, it was really bad. I hated them, but I was so relieved to get home and not have the drains in. Um, so school-wise, my school decided to call me as I was making my next appointment with my surgeon, which was today. Um, but three weeks ago, when I was making my appointment, um, my school had called me and they were like, hey, if you don't come back to school by Monday, then we're going to drop you from classes. And I was like, I've been gone for a week. I only have class Tuesdays and Thursdays. Technically, I've only been gone for two days. But, if you want to count school days, it was only a week. So why are you telling me I have to come back already? Like, I have a doctor's note. I can give you a doctor's note. And they were like, well, a doctor's note only excuses you from assignments. You're still going to get missed attendance. And I was like, are you fucking kidding me, dude? Like, I just went through surgery. I have a doctor's note. Like, how are you going to tell me that a doctor's note excuses assignments but not whatever. Anyways, I had to make up all the assignments anyways, so the only thing the doctor's note did was um, excuse them from being late. But I'm all caught up now, it's no big deal, whatever. I graduate in May. I'm just, I'm done with this place. Um, I can't wait to graduate. Anyways, back to surgery. <laughs> um, pain level. I have seen and heard other trans guys or non-binary people who have gotten top surgery say, oh, I had no, no pain. Oh, it was a walk in the park. It was so easy. Bitch, where? That shit hurt so bad. <laughs> I was dying. Okay. No. My body sucks with pain. Like, I am so bad with pain. Um, I ran out of pain meds within the first week, which was normal. I was only taking them as prescribed. I wasn't taking too much. I wasn't nothing like that. I just, I took them as needed. And I didn't exceed the amount I was supposed to, so that's good. But, um, I ended up running out, and I called my surgeon, and I was like, I'm still in a lot of pain. Um, is there anything that you can do or is there anything that I should do? And he goes, oh, take Tylenol and ibuprofen at the same time and you'll be good. So I was like, okay, cool. Yay. Thank you. 
Um, I get home, I try that for about like three days. Tylenol and ibuprofen wasn't helping at all. So I called my surgeon's office and I asked if there was any way I can get a refill um, for a couple days. And long story short, um, I think, don't quote me on this, but I think what the nurse said was that they tried to put in a, um, a request for a refill and then got denied. I don't know, I could be wrong, um, but that's what I think ended up happening. Um, so, like, two days after that, I was in a lot of pain still. Um, I went back to class, my Tuesday class. Um, thankfully, my professor told me, um, not to come to his class, which was 9 a.m. to 2.30. He told me not to go to his class and to go back to my dorm and rest up. <laughs> And he told me he would mark me present as long as I did my assignments, which I did. So, thank you, Professor Brusky. <laughs> um, as for my social psych class, I had that from 6 o'clock until like 7.20 p.m. And um, I went to that. I got back to my dorm after class and my chest was literally throbbing. Like, it hurt so bad. And I wasn't doing anything. Like, I didn't bring anything to class with me except for my cell phone. Um, all that I did was sit in a chair. I didn't bring my books. I didn't bring my laptop. Nothing. And I was still throbbing. So, that Wednesday, I, um, ended up going up to the ER. And, um my my mom brought me and I told them I was like I just had surgery about a week and a half two weeks ago ish um my surgeon isn't able to give me a refill is there any way that you can help me with page yeah pain management in any way um and they were like okay what we can do is give you a two-day supply their two-day supply was, I think, I want to say 12 oxys, which is what I was on in the hospital, was oxy. So they gave me 12 oxy pills, which was supposed to last two days. Um, I still have, like, nine of them left. Because for the past two weeks, I don't know if my math is adding up right now, <laughs> but, like, the past two weeks, I didn't need them. So I'm not going to take them if I don't need them, you know. Um, I'm getting a hysterectomy in April, so I'm saving them for when I get my hysterectomy. Um, I, I only took a few when I needed them, and I was only taking one every morning. Um, now I'm not taking Oxy, I'm not taking... Um, Sorry, my phone just vibrated on my table. <laughs> I'm not taking Oxy, I'm not taking Tylenol, and I'm not taking Ibuprofen. Um, I still have some pain and discomfort, but not enough for me to take medication. So I'm not going to take it if if the pain is bearable, you know what I mean? Um, so, yeah, I lost my train of thought. That's, that's great. <laughs> So, I had my one month appointment today, and um, my one month was on the 16th. I know I told you guys I was going to make the video on the 16th, but I figured I would wait until after my appointment, because I knew that there would be stuff to like update you guys on. And I mean, I'm making these videos for other trans people who maybe haven't started to transition yet, or whatever. Um, but I'm also making them for myself to look back on. So, um, that's why I go into so much detail. Not only to educate other people and tell other people my experiences, but also so I can look back at it 10, 20 years from now and be like, oh wow, like, damn. <laughs> but, um, so at my appointment today, um, he looked at my chest, he said there is some swelling, 
which is normal for six to 12 months, he said. Which, I get, it's, yeah. <laughs> of course you're gonna swell. But, um, it's, it's not bad at all. Don't worry, I'm gonna show you guys my chest. <laughs> um, so, yeah, he said, pretty much he just told me, I still have restrictions up until six weeks from now for my next appointment. He'll take off all my restrictions. But as of right now, I still can't lift much. Um, I mean, I probably could if I wanted to, but like, I'm not supposed to, so I'm not going to. Um, I, if I go in the sun, like during the summer, he said to treat my scars like, like it's a baby's skin. If you want to put your baby in a hot tub, don't put your scars in a hot tub. That's, ex that's the exact, um, example he gave me. So, and it makes a lot of sense. Um, but obviously that's not going to be until summer. Um, he said, when you go in the sun, put sunscreen on it. Again, not till summer, but, um, yeah. Basically, um, he said my surgery looks great. My scars, they're not raised or anything, which, which he said was really good. Um, I'm allowed to now only wear my binder for 12 hours per day. Um, so I figured I'll just wear it to bed. But me personally, um, my chest hurts when I don't have my binder on. So I asked him if I'm allowed to wear it all day still if I want to. And he said, yeah. He said, um, a lot of his patients actually choose to keep wearing the binder because it gives them comfort. Um, I'm just uncomfortable without it. And I don't mean like, ew, I don't want to lay around without my shirt. Like, no, I love laying around with my shirt, but my chest literally hurts if I don't have a binder on. So I'm going to keep wearing it for a few more weeks and hopefully that'll stop soon. He said it should. Um, my pain that I had right here, um, I probably told you guys about it in one of my vlogs. He said it's 100% normal. Um, it's nothing bad. It's just the healing process. So I'm glad about that. I'm glad that um, this is swelling and not fluid. I was scared that um, I might have fluid or something. Um, but as soon as he said, oh, I see you have some swelling, immediately like I was happy because I was like, fuck, I don't want <laughs> to drain it. <laughs> but um, so I'm glad it's just swelling and not fluid. Um, but yeah, I think that's it for updates. Um, I know you guys want to see my chest. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm going to show you guys that right now. So I know you guys can't see my face, but this is my chest. I'm so happy with it. Um, my scars are pretty light. They're a lot lighter than I thought they would be. Um, so I am extremely happy. There's my drain. <laughs> where my drain was. Zoom in on the nips. A little scab still, but no big deal. This one's my favorite. This is my favorite nipple. Um, because it's healing quicker. But yeah, that is my chest. My arm mobility is pretty good. Um, I'm just gonna... Sorry, I'm looking at the viewfinder. But I can raise them all the way up without a problem. Okay, maybe right there. But yeah, it's pretty good, and I'm super happy with the results. I love it. I'm so glad that I was able to get this done. Um, I didn't think I'd make it this far in my transition, to be honest, um, due to funds and stuff, but I'm so glad I did. Um, so, yeah. <laughs>
that's my one month post stop video and I hope you guys liked it and um, if you did like and subscribe I will be posting more surgery updates in the future um, probably not month to month maybe like every two months or something um, but yeah see you guys next video